So for all those who don't know, this engine is from, we think about 1840, 1830. It's a reversible marine engine with a walking beam. But we have determined by things like this that this engine was underwater in salt water for a fairly considerable period of time. So you can imagine making things rotate again, especially fasteners, is a uh, serious challenge. Thank you. Father. So everything like this is a triumph. Yeah, perfect. All right, we'll keep going with that. Thank you. Thank you. That makes two bolts. Again, this and its its opposite side counterpart have taken us four months to unstick on this uh, shipwrecked engine. So that's quite a thing. I actually can't believe that fucking thing turns. That I never thought that this bolt would come out without breaking. So that's some good news right there. Okay, lift away. Hey, EJ, grab that. Oh, okay. oh my god, there it is. Right. Just put it down, put it down, rest it on the side. Is on the that floor. silver? Yep. Look side. at that. Whoa. What? No, it's, I think What's it's that? lead. I think oh, it's lead. there it is. Okay, oh. there's the piston right there. Fine. Now that's gonna, we're gonna have, we're probably gonna have to get a big gear puller to push that piston. Um, mm, I don't know. You Maybe. think that's, that's lead? I think so. <laughs> but the question is, why? Oh, wait, did he? Did he fill a hole in the frame with that? Like a crack.